Hey everyone, Rogold here, and today we got some stuff to go over. So the second phase of the public test server for the upcoming Division 2 update and Project Resolve has been out for about 48 hours. And so far, there's been a lot of discourse on a bunch of stuff like the new items coming with Year 5 Season 3, a bunch of balancing they're doing, etc. But today, I wanted to make a video on what actually surprised me the most from this PTS, that being the new tinkering system. Now on the surface, this is what they pitched last month in December. On paper, it is a slight redesign to the various gear augmentation systems that we have in the game. They also talked about how we now have the ability to do it on the go. But after seeing it in practice in the PTS, I think I underestimated just just how much more efficient and streamlined this would feel. And I think not only it is going to greatly benefit new player comprehension, but it should really alleviate veteran frustration or stagnation with this system. So in today's video, I just want to showcase it and break it down so you can see what's been done. And if you enjoy thorough and consistent coverage on The Division 2 like this, then be sure to click that subscribe button. We got a lot more coming in the lead up to the release of Season 3, but let's dive right in. So here's my character in the PTS, and you'll see that if we approach the spot in the White House where previously the recap calibration station stood, it is now called the Tinkering Station. And when you open it, you can see now things are laid out in three tabs. You start off with Library, which first of all, I think is very good to put this in the first slot because for new players and for people interacting with this system, this is like the very core thing to do, right? You want to build out your library so that you can recalibrate. And it says at the bottom, Library is where you can view and extract stats from items in your inventory or optimize your level 40 gear. Then if you tab over to the next one, which is the new tab called Tinkering, it says Tinkering allows you to replace and optimize the stats on your equipment to better match your playstyle, but also increase the attributes of your gear and weapons to their full 100%. And then lastly, we of course have Expertise, which I think many of us know, but they do now have a description for it, which is that Expertise is a progression feature that allows enhancing the maximum performance of weapons, gear sets, skill variants, and more. So let's take a closer look at each of these three tabs so you can see what exactly has changed. The library, first and foremost, functions exactly the same as before, but the general interface here kind of got a facelift to be a bit more readable. And I like this quite a lot. You can see the totals for the number of core attributes, regular attributes, and talents that can be stored per category. The various green arrows that you'll see across here indicate whether or not you have something that can be increased or you can store a better version of a stat that you already have. And also the orange text, you can see I have one example there, means that you've maxed out that entire category. So as I said before, this function's exactly the same, but I think it looks very clean. I like it. But moving over to the tinkering menu, this is what is all new and has definitely gotten the biggest overhaul in this whole system. What it is, is basically that they have rolled recalibration and optimization into one menu, and I think that this should greatly benefit player comprehension. So let's say you go to a specific piece within this menu and you hover over a stat, you can now see what options exist for either recalibration or optimization in the same tab on the right side. And it also very clearly displays the cost for both. Honestly, I think this makes the whole system a lot more straightforward, like I said again, especially for new players putting these two things that both have to deal with improving pieces of gear you already have into one menu, one system, I think that's just going to make a lot more sense. So I'm a very big fan of this. And then Expertise, of course, still has its own menu. It's exactly the same as before, but I think it is good to separate it and put it at the end of these three new tabs because it's kind of that more longer term goal. And it's good that they gave it an actual description so that players who don't know what it is have a bit of an idea what they're looking at. That said, these are not the only surprises with this new system and overhaul. And as we heard previously, you can now do all of this stuff on the go right from your inventory. So I went to a Dark Zone checkpoint just as an example, and you'll see that if I go into my menu, I can access the tinkering menu right from my inventory. And this opens the door for so many things, right? If I get a piece with a higher roll or a new talent, I can go right into my library and store it right then and there. Maybe I picked up a chess piece that is almost perfect to what I want, but I just want to change the talent and slot it right into my build. You can recalibrate it right on the go and stay out in the world or wherever you are. Or if you're in Countdown doing some expertise farming, maybe your bag maxes out in total slots, you can go right there into the expertise menu, donate it, and be all set with more slots to go. So I really think that is the biggest bonus here. It's the amount of time that is going to be saved from traveling back and forth to the base and wherever you are. So this is really great. And then there is one last really excellent feature that I wanted to point out, which I wasn't aware of at first. It got pointed out to me on stream. But from any specific item, if you're perusing through your inventory, so let's say I'm looking at this one, for example, you use the same button that you do to access the overall tinkering menu from the greater inventory screen. But if you do it while you're looking at this specific piece, it takes you directly to the recal and optimization screen for that piece. 
And this is awesome, because it streamlines the process immensely, it saves you the time from scrolling through the menu to find the specific item that you're trying to tinker, and again, I just think it's another example of how great this overall redesign is. So, my friends, that is an overview of the gear augmentation redesign, I'm calling it. They've reworked the layout of the recalibration bench, created the new tinkering process, and making the whole thing much more efficient. And there's even a few further changes that we didn't cover in here, right? They reduced the cost to upgrade your item's expertise level, optimization costs have been reduce and now scales depending on the value of the upgrade you're receiving. They also did make a slight change to where you can only optimize a stat up to the value you have that stat stored at in your library, which could negatively impact some people, but I think it does make more sense, and so that should probably improve the overall cohesion of everything. Overall, I'm very pleased by this new system. It's not anything that's going to drive veteran players crazy, right? But if it improves the overall quality and enjoyability of the game, I personally think that's a benefit for all. That said, I want to hear your thoughts on everything having to do with this new tinkering system and breakdown. What do you think of the various additions and improvements that have been made to this system? Whether it's putting recal and optimization into one thing, being able to do it on the go, whatever you're thinking, would love to hear it down below. And that's going to do it for me today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Rogue Gold. Ow. <laughs>